When The Real Housewives of Miami premiered in 2011, viewers were introduced to Larsa as the wife of NBA star Scottie Pippen and the mother of their four children. Hello my friends, subscribe to the channel and activate the bell to stay on top of all the news about Lakers. When the show returned in 2021 after an eight-year hiatus, fans checked in with a new Larsa, who was enjoying the single life and shopping for her own lavish Miami home. Larsa filed for divorce from Scotty, for the second time, in 2018 and their divorce was finalized in December 2021. In the years since their split, Larsa has been linked to a few different men, many of whom are also basketball players. However, the reality star has been open about the difficulties of dating following the end of her 20-plus year marriage. I feel like I am kind of mentally in a place of, like, I was married to a really famous guy that was really cute, that had a good body, that was really successful, that gave me four gorgeous kids. So, where the hell are you gonna find a guy that can, like, fill in, it doesn't have to be all of those, but like, a few of those boxes, Larsa explained during an August 2022 appearance on Melissa Gorga's On Display podcast. She continued, it's kind of hard. I thought it was going to be easier, to be honest with you. Once I started dating, I'm like, I'm gonna have to come to the realization that I'm not gonna get it all. I had a great run. I had a great relationship. You know, I was married for 23 years. Larsa married Scotty in 1997 when she was 23 years old and he was 32. At the time, Scotty was at the height of his basketball career, he won his fifth NBA title with the Chicago Bulls that same year. During their marriage, Larsa and Scotty welcomed four children together, Scotty Jr., Preston, Justin and Sophia. Scotty also has four more children from other relationships. In 2016, Scotty and Larsa filed for divorce but they later reconciled. The following year, they were spotted out together in Los Angeles and a source told people, they are working on their relationship. I think they were always trying to find a common ground. For a while, they didn't see eye to eye, but they've been married for 20 years, they have four kids. However, a year later, Larsa filed for divorce again citing, irreconcilable differences. This time, the separation was for good. In December 2021, their divorce was finalized. All issues were resolved amicably, Lars's attorney told People. The parties are now focusing on successfully co-parenting their remaining minor children. In The Real Housewives of Miami season 4 premiere, Larsa opened up about the end of her marriage and her decision to sell the home the couple lived in together with their kids. Now that I'm single, I feel like I look better than ever, she said. So my vibe is very Miami. It's sexy, it's fun and I feel really independent. And for me, independence was really important but it's not the same being in the home without Scotty. She continued, we built this house. Like, we built it for our kids. It's, like, the best location. I have a private beach. But I feel like it's a new chapter, a new day and we need to sell it. Around the time of Lars's first separation from Scotty, she briefly dated rapper Future. She opened up about their romance on Hollywood Unlocked in February 2021. I was in a point in my life when I was really sad, Larsa said. I was dealing with, do I move on, do I not, are my kids going to be okay? It was a lot of guilt that I felt and he was the guy that was there to see me go through it and he was the guy that I would talk to when I was kinda, like, dealing with things. He just gave me confidence when I was feeling in a dark place. The reality star continued, did I want to spend the rest of my life with him? I don't think so. People serve a purpose in your life. It doesn't have to be your forever. Everyone has a time and a reason for being in your life. It was never that serious. It was not like people think it was. Of the seriousness of their brief relationship, Larsa said, people made more of it than it was. Also during the time of her first separation, Larsa had a brief fling with NBA player Tristan Thompson prior to his relationship with Khloe Kardashian. I was kinda seeing Tristan before Khloe. Before Khloe or any of them knew he existed, Larsa told the Hollywood Raw podcast in November 2020. I was seeing him, I had him come to LA, I brought him to a party Kim, Kardashian, had. I introduced him to all of them. 
Larsa alleged that Thompson began dating Kardashian very soon after. Then a week later, or maybe ten days later, he started seeing Chloe, she explained. Which is fine, I don't even care. It's whatever. I'm the type of person that doesn't chase what's not for me. I will never chase a man. I will never put a leash on a man. I don't do that. I feel like, let you be great. If you want to be with other people, go ahead. I'm great by myself. The reality star also denied that she had any involvement with Thompson after he began dating the Good American founder. It's hurtful people think that I hooked up and trying to ruin Chloe's life, she added. I would never do that. That's not even my personality. In late 2020, Larsa began a short-lived but drama-filled relationship with former Utah jazz player Malik Beasley. In November 2020, Larsa and Beasley were photographed holding hands while shopping together. Beasley's wife, Montana Yao, said she was shocked to see the photos, writing on Instagram, Wow. I don't even know this man. She added, This is wild y'all I'm seeing it for the first time just like y'all. The following month, Larsa tweeted that Beasley was separated when she started seeing him, however, Yao responded and alleged that that was false. During her interview with Hollywood Unlocked, Larsa once again defended her relationship with Beasley. We had spoken about it. It wasn't a secret. I know a lot of people that are married and exiting. I've played that part. So for me, if you're not being shady and you're telling me all your stuff, I'm going to believe you, she said of Beasley. They had issues before. It had nothing to do with me, so I wasn't thinking anything about it. If you spent a minute googling their situation, it wasn't the ideal situation way before me. Larsa and Beasley split four months after they started dating, her rep confirmed to People in April 2021. A source said, they're friends and still in communication but are not together. Distance played a role in the breakup. Larsa is now dating Marcus Jordan, the son of basketball legend Michael Jordan, who played with Pippen on the Bulls for years. Marcus played basketball during his time at the University of Central Florida. He now owns a sneaker and apparel store called Trophy Room. The two were first linked and they were seen having lunch together in Miami in September 2022. Not long after, they were spotted together at the Rolling Loud Music Festival, as seen in photos obtained by Page Six. However, Larsa claimed she and Marcus were just friends while speaking to people in October 2022. We're friends, she said. We've been friends for a few years and that's really what it is. We're friends. In December 2022, Marcus accompanied Larsa to the Real Housewives of Miami Season 5 premiere party, according to photos obtained by the Daily Mail. The following month, Larsa and Marcus were spotted kissing in Miami. A source then confirmed to people that the couple are dating and happy. A second insider said, it is still casual and they're having fun. She's trying her best to keep it quiet and not make a big deal out of it. They see each other at least a few times a week. On January 23, 2023, Larsa posted a photo on Instagram of her and Marcus posing arm in arm in front of a white and red floral design of Marcus Dad's number 23 Bulls jersey. While Larsa had previously posted photos of Marcus on her Instagram story, this snap marked the first time her bow was seen on her grid. Shortly after, a source told People that the reality star really likes Marcus a lot, adding that she had wanted to keep the relationship private, but she realized it's hard being in the public eye so she posted. The insider continued that the couple have been all over Miami lately and were at a club together this weekend, adding that they were displaying a lot of affection publicly and didn't care who was around. They are definitely into each other, said the source. The couple confirmed their love for one another on Valentine's Day 2023, posting sweet posts of each other on Instagram. Marcus shared a picture of Larsa holding two big bouquets of flowers with the caption, three words, eight letters Happy Valentine's Day, babe. For her part, Larsa posted a snap of the pair posing on a sandy beach with the caption, My Forever Valentine. While chatting with people in February 2023, Larsa revealed the moment she realized she wanted to be more than just friends with Marcus. I think it was one night we went out and there was a girl that was there. She was trying to talk to him, and I was getting jealous over it, she recalled. 
And it was weird because I'm not really the jealous person, but I was jealous over the situation. Larsa added, and so then, I was thinking maybe I do really like him. That kind of sealed the deal. The RHOM star also shared that fans can expect to see Marcus make a few cameos on the Bravo show. I don't want to put too much pressure on him. I feel like he signed up for me, Larsa explained. I don't think he signed up for the show, but I do feel like we're together now and if there's events and there's stuff, he would normally go with me, so he'd come there too. During the season 5 reunion of RHOM, which aired in March 2023, Larsa revealed that she'd happily change her last name to Jordan if she and Marcus got married. I would definitely change my last name for whomever I married, that's for sure, she said. Larsa's RHOM co-star, Alexia Nepola, spoke about the possibility of Larsa and Marcus tying the knot during an April 17, 2023, interview with E! News. I feel like it's too early in their relationship to talk marriage, she said. But everything is possible when you're crazy in love. Nebula also said that the two are super into each other and are enjoying each other so much. Comment and leave your like, don't forget to subscribe to always stay updated. Until the next video.